Hi there, Ian. I'm Mr. Toyn here. I'm going to talk you through um, the option of triple science and science in general and what to expect on the GCC course. My first little task for you there, I love a little task, is Guess Who? The classic game Guess Who? Can you guess the name of the scientists or the pictures of them as students, as children, on the screen in front of you? You're going to have 10 seconds, it goes to the next slide, and it goes to the answers. They are all quite well known scientists, so hopefully you get a couple of them. So hopefully you got the dancers down, or maybe guessed a couple of them, such as Stephen Hawking, Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, Richard Feynman, Albert Einstein, Marie Curie, Carl Sagan, and Mishuo Kaku. All of these scientists have had lots of success in their relative fields. And it's really important that you understand the honesty in admit you when you got that one right or you got that one wrong or you didn't have a clue and now you've learned something new but all of those scientists have had discoveries in the areas of physics chemistry or biology and then applied that to real life situations and made massive discoveries in their fields and it'll have taken a lot of hard work and perseverance and resilience and you may recognize some of those words as our virtues we're talking about them as i go through this powerpoint and i want to make it clear to you that these scientists were once students and if they can do it why can't you, in the famous words of Harry Potter. And some further famous scientists, although sometimes people forget um, the area of astrophysics and, astro and astronauts are in fact scientists, um, the ladies who are in the black and white photos are Mary Jackson, Catherine Johnson and Dorothy Vaughan. Catherine Johnson on the left hand side was the woman uh, who calculated all the trajectories and landing sites for the Apollo missions. Uh, Mary Jackson in the middle, she was one of the engineers who helped design the capsules that the astronauts went up in. And Dorothy Vaughan was the first black engineer or manager, a data manager of the IBM. And then the person or the, the lady who is uh, in the coloured photo is Mae Jens Jennison. And she was actually a biologist who then trained to become an astronaut, the first African-American woman in space. And she was then able to perform bone cell research to help progress her research area in biology, but had to become an astronaut to do that in space. So this just shows that the, the all three scientists, science are interlinked and you can't do one without the other. And our virtue of perseverance is really, really important in triple science because you will need it just as Edwin would have done in their pursuit of this subject. And then furthermore, it was made into a film, Hidden Figures. And you may have seen it, may have not, but it emphasizes the struggles they will have gone through uh, and also then think about how hard the science was as well. So in GCC science, you need a large quantity of the virtue and the, the skill, the transferable skill of resilience. GCC science and triple science is a really, really hard topic. It's a really hard subject. Uh, and the reason it's hard is some of the concepts really do bridge between GCC and A-level. And you will need to have resilience because when you do find a topic or a subject within a module that is quite challenging or hard, you need to have the resilience to approach it from a different angle, to not give up, not just rely on your teachers, but to think about what can you do and how can I solve the problem a different way. It's really important you develop that skill. In biology, in B6, you will look at DNA, the structure of DNA, and how it codes for proteins to be made. In other words, how every organism is unique due to the DNA structure, how that then works, interacts. You'll then look at genetic diagrams and more inherited disorders and variation. The work from Gregor Mendel, who was a Catholic priest, who then decided to, who also was a scientist, who then published work all about variation and how people were different due to their DNA, it was inherited. And then you look at work around about antibiotic resistance and speciation that builds on this. Furthermore, in biology, you will then look more at monoclonal antibodies, culture in microorganisms, and learn all about how microscopic and antibodies work at you know, fighting disease. And you'll do work on that with plants as well, by looking at how plant diseases are spread and the work of plant hormones, how plants grow with hormones, and the commercial use of plant hormones. You will also then look in this module, in, chem in biology, sorry, at things like the brain, the eye, correcting vision defects, the kidneys, kidney failure, and adrenaline and thyroxin, all quite high levels in biology, which is triple only content. That's why it's, it's harder. It bridges the gap between GCSE and A-level. 
And then in B7, the final one, you will start to look at the extra modules such as decay, investigating decay, so how um, factors affect microorganisms breaking things down. You then look at maintaining bio, um, ecosystems and biodiversity, trophic levels, pyramids of biomass, food security and food farming, and then linking into that biotechnology and how that is helping um, the world in biology and the scientists in the area of biology on the forefront involving ecosystems and biodiversity. And biotechnology links very heavily into chemistry because in chemistry, the study of atoms and how they interact, you will look at nanoparticles, using nanoparticles, um, different types of bonding and why nanoparticles are so useful. You will then look at not only the use of nanoparticles in biotechnology, you will also look at cells and batteries and fuel cells in energy changes in chemistry. This links then quite heavily into titration reactions and looking at neutralization acids and alkalis and then linking into once you've done the actual neutralization reactions some high level math skills and looking at the moles and the concentrations the masses of how much acid is needed to neutralize so much alkali and there's some very high levels reactive masses equations limiting reagents gas and solutions atom economy and percentage yield that are triple only in the chemistry course on top of that moving into the second half of, paper, of, of chemistry into paper two, you will look at Le Chatelier's principle and how that is a, a used in the harbour process and it's used to make fertilisers. You will look at testing for gases, anions and cations in purity and formulation in chemical analysis, a key part of what scientists do and chemists do, which is problem solve. What is in this what is in this mixture? How do I know? And then in probably the most challenging module in organic chemistry, you will look at the reactions of alkenes, addition polymers, alcohols, carboxylic acids, condensation polymers and natural occurring polymers, which literally is how we make clothes out of natural polymers. So what you are wearing, how it's made and what are the structures of the molecules in chemistry. That bridges a gap into A-level. That's content you will study at A-level should you want to do that. And then finally looking at waves and looking at the waves, but physics and waves is involved. So in um, physics, the, a lot of the content for this triple only comes into content in three, four, th th four of the seven modules. So in topic four, atomic structure, you will look at nuclear fission, nuclear fusion. You will then look in forces, very much detail at moments, fluid pressure, up thrust, atmospheric pressure. Uh, and changes in momentum, all triple content only. And then you will look at in waves that link it into biology, concave lens magnification, how that uh, is affected, uh, basically looking at correcting vision to do with the eyes. You will then also look at back body, but black body radiation and sound waves and ultrasound. So how we use ultrasound, for example, to do pregnancy scans. And the final bit section of um, in in P7, magnetism electromagnetism, you will look at the generator effect, generators, microphones and transformers. In other words, how magnetism and electromagnetism is used to make your headphones and microphones. Professor Brian Cox is an astrophysicist from the University of Manchester and the last topic taught in triple only is P8 space. So space physics, life cycle of stars, solar system orbits, redshift, big bang theory, all that studied there. And if you then go on to study it beyond A level and degree and then PhD, you could maybe mirror what one of our alumni has done and you may watch me become similar to what Mary Slipper has done, which is study particle physics or string theory, which is actually what is done in the big bang theory. So that is a brief introduction of what you would study in GCSE science the extra content in triple. I want you to watch the video on the next slide, which talks you through some other transferable skills and some other jobs involved in science. So, you love science? Well, what is science and where could a career in science take you? Science is the best way we have of understanding nature. We may have an idea of how something works, but as new knowledge becomes available, our ideas change. And this is what makes science so exciting. In school, you learn lots of facts, but science is about how you think too. Scientific thinking helps you approach problems in an organized way. You learn to be open-minded about new or alternative ideas that challenge your thinking. It also harnesses the power of your imagination to solve the problems that challenge society. 
Your scientific journey starts with your core subjects in school. Chemistry, maths, biology, computing and physics. These are the doors that will lead you into a world of subject choices you might not have heard of, such as geochemistry, data science, biophysics and many more. You'll be able to find the subject that ignites your passion. There are familiar careers in science, like being a doctor, a vet or working in a lab. But these are only a few of the options. From rainforests to the hearts of volcanoes, from exploring the universe to quantum computing, scientists are there, increasing understanding of how things work and using their skills to drive innovation. As a scientist, you could be creating new technologies to combat climate change, finding cures for diseases, or designing sustainable alternatives to plastics. A career in science gives you a chance to make a positive impact on our planet, and there will often be exciting opportunities to collaborate with colleagues from across the globe and even travel to different countries. As science is always developing, you could find yourself in a career that doesn't exist yet. Science can offer job satisfaction, doing something you enjoy that makes a difference to people's lives. There's also flexibility to move between different disciplines and the incredible variety of roles and responsibilities that the scientific world offers. Science is for everyone. It's your abilities that count, not your background, gender or race. So, with all these varied careers to choose from, what sort of scientist will you be? So, skills and opportunities developed in triple science. As it is a STEM subject, it links technology, engineering and mathematics in heavily and the cross-curricular links between all three sciences and mathematics and engineering technology are made clear within triple science. Linking all these subjects together, you will also find links within history and geography in science. Your skills of problem solving, thinking a particular way and thinking outside the box, Data organisation analysis is a really key skill you develop, particularly in triple science, and that is geared on to take you on to A level and then degree, as a lot of scientists then to go on to into other jobs that work in exactly that skill opportunity, that skill that skill area. Public speaking, the ability to get up front and deliver and present your findings is something you need to do as a scientist and defend your work and as to why it is applicable and to what is you've done is why it's valid. Designing presentations and posters to present that work is also something that you will develop in GCSE Triple Science. Clear and concise writing. Uh, in science, we want to get to the point. We want a uh, beginning, middle and end. We don't want a story. We want exactly the hypothesis, the method and the results with a conclusion and evaluation. It needs to be clear and concise. These are skills you develop in triple. Independent learning, project management, teaching and mentoring, teamwork and collaboration. You will learn to teach each other and mentor each other as a support network alongside being taught by a dedicated member of staff and a support team of a science team you can there learn and develop to teach mentor and support each other in a teamwork collaboratory it's a massive skill which you'll need to take on into the real world scenario in whatever job that you will do taking charge of a project if you ever become in a management position Delegating jobs and tasks in a project management perspective is really important. And the final one of independent learning, so something I'll talk about on the next slide. Independent learning is really vital in triple science. You'll be expected to do a lot of this, and particularly at home, after lessons, in and around your homework. Independent learning is something vital for triple science. So the virtues of STEM beads are on the wall in the presentation, presentation to at the back where I've got those pictures from. And you will utilise these throughout your entire triple course and trilogy course. And they're really important in science. Respect and honesty. The respect of the learning environment and make sure it's a nice environment. That's why you take triple to make sure you're engaged and that you want to be there. You want to learn. You are wanting to understand the science in front of you to take it further. Honesty for when you really don't understand the need to ask for a bit of help. Having the courtesy to respect other people's opinions and then work with them. The perseverance when you find something difficult to not give up, to try again, to try a different way, to go home and try and not just wait for your teachers to go through it in retrieval practice. Having the resilience again alongside perseverance to not give up at difficult tasks. There will be science, certain topics in this science course that you will find really challenging. Having the resilience and perseverance to keep going is really important virtue. 
forgiveness. When you get something wrong, to forgive yourself and not to beat yourself up about it too much. To move on and try and get it right next time. Faithfulness. Having the faithfulness and the faith in yourself that you can do it. You're in triple for a reason. That's why you wanted to take it because you, you believe you can do it. Compassion and passion. You've got to have the compassion for others when they're doing well and succeeding. And then on the circle side, that service and the humility. Having the passion for the subject, the service to serve it and to help others and even maybe STEM club. And the humility not to boast about it if you are too good, but to help others. And last but not least, you need this just as much if not more than anything else. And that is love of science. To take triple science, you are going to have more science lessons than well, you will have more science lessons than anyone else in the school. So you need to love the subject all the way through. And the expectation is, is that you will need to work hard at stuff that you find difficult outside of the classroom. That is an expectation that you undertake when you choose triple science. I hope you found this PowerPoint presentation useful in the expectations that we ex of what we expect from you and uh, the ones that take triple. I hope you really enjoy it and uh, learn a lot from the course and this be the start of your journey onto A-level and hopefully degrees in any science and then careers after that. Thank you.